Who is the best line right now in the NHL? Could it be the top line for the Boston Bruins of Marshan, Pasternak, and Bergeron? Could it be the top line for the Avalanche with McKinnon, Rettinen, and Landis Cog? We're going to take a look at their statistics and compare the two and determine which line is currently the top line in the NHL. And that's coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams, so if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top here, I think we have a legitimate debate for who is the top line in the NHL. Now I know it's early in the NHL season with most teams playing in years from 7 to 9 games, but we've seen some of the top lines really clicking at a high rate here, especially the top lines for the Bruins and for the Colorado Avalanche respectively here. Throughout most of last season and even in the early part of this season, I know I had the opinion that the top line in hockey was the Bruins' top line of Bergeron, Marchand, and Pasternak. And for the most part, I think that's a pretty safe argument. They have been absolutely outstanding for the Boston Bruins, uh, playing well two-way hockey while putting up tremendous offensive numbers. But I do think that the beginning of the season here for the Avalanche with Nathan McKinnon, Gabriel Landeskog, and Mikko Rantanen, they certainly created an argument that they very well might be the hottest line in the top line currently in the NHL as we speak. So let's take a look at each line, what they've had for offensive output so far this season, and how much impact they've had on their teams. Now the one difference here is that the Boston Bruins have played one fewer game than the Colorado Avalanche. They have eight games in where the Avs have nine. So the, the stats are slightly off here, but I will do a prorated version for the Bruins as they do play this evening. So after tonight, they will have an even number of games played. Right now, the Patrice Bergeron, Brad Marchand, and David Pasternak line is producing 59% of all Bruins goals. The Boston Bruins so far this season in eight games have scored 27 goals, while that line has contributed 16 to them. Now, I think one thing that both of these teams can say they have in common, even though their top lines are clicking at extremely high rates, they're not getting as much secondary scoring as they would like. And long term here throughout this season, they're going to need that in order to be you know, extremely successful and get into the playoffs and have an opportunity here to go on any kind of playoff run. Looking at the trio for the Boston Bruins here, Patrice Bergeron leads the way with six goals and seven assists for 13 points. Brad Marchand's only a point behind him with two goals and 10 assists for 12 points, where David Pasternak only one point behind him with eight goals and three assists for 11 points. So Bergeron has the most points, Pasternak has the most goals. That line certainly has a little bit of everything. I mean, you've got Patrice Bergeron, who's you know, one of the best two-way forwards the game currently has and has been for a long time. Uh, he's tremendous on face-off while being tremendous offensively. You've got Brad Marchand, uh, you know, who's a tremendous offensive talent as well, you know, plays that agitating style of game that his opponents really, you know, he can drive his opponents crazy. You know, he's good in the corners. He's good in the front of the net. Also got David Pasternak on the other side with an incredible talent. We'll get a wicked shot, great release, pretty good stick handler as well. So all three bring a lot of skill to that line and they all kind of bring something different to make it in a very effective line and arguably the best, if not one of the best here in the NHL. As of today, the Boston Bruins have a record of 4-2-2. Two, two. So clearly this line's had a major effect on the Boston Bruins. They're having a tremendous season here so far. Now let's compare that to how the top line is going here for the Colorado Avalanche. Currently, Miko Rantanen leads the way with 4 goals and 12 assists for 16 points. Tied for first in the NHL scoring race with Maple Leafs forward Austin Matthews. So Rantanen is you know another guy who's coming near the end of his entry-level contract. Miko Rantanen is one of the top RFAs that's going to be needing a big raise heading into next year. Could certainly find himself in a similar situation that William Nylander is with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's going to be looking for a significant raise, and hopefully the Avalanche and him can come to terms so they can avoid a stalemate and avoid him sitting out this year like we've seen with Nylander here with Toronto. But he's certainly a tremendous talent, and playing alongside Nathan McKinnon has been an absolutely tremendous boost for his career. Those two performed really well last year, and they've kept it going here to start off this campaign as well. Now, only a point behind Rantanen is Nathan McKinnon with eight goals and seven assists for 15 points. The third part of that line, Avalanche captain Gabriel Landeskog's off to a tremendous start as well. He's leading the team in goals with eight, along with four assists for 12 points. So in the Avalanche's case, we've got McKinnon and Landeskog here, both with eight goals, tied with David Pasternak in second place for most goals here in the NHL, only two behind Austin Matthews of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, so both those guys producing a ton of goals, where Mika Rantanen certainly leading the way there in assists as well, and like I said he's tied for first in points with Matthews. So all three of those guys are certainly clicking in an extremely high rate. The Avalanche so far have scored 33 goals as a team and this line has accounted for 20 of them. So that is just over 60% of their offense 
coming from this line. So as I mentioned, the Bruins top line is producing 59%. So it's very even here. Right now, the Avalanche players do have some more points. But as I mentioned, they, did, they have played one more game. So if you take the Bruins numbers and you prorate them here out uh, for that ninth game that they're about to play this evening, they're, the line's averaging two goals per game as well as two assists. So they very well could have... Uh, you know, an extra four points between the three of them this evening if the trend continues. So that would put the three of them having 40 points to the Avalanche's 43. So they're both a huge part of their team's game, producing a large part of their team's offense. And as I mentioned, even though both teams are having tremendous starts here and having a huge part of their team's offense, it would be nice for both teams to get a little bit more secondary scoring to kind of balance things out here a little bit. Amongst the Colorado Avalanche top line here, all three are in top 10 in league scoring. Obviously with Renton in number one, whereas McKinnon's tied for third and Landskog's in 10th. Meanwhile, with the trio for the Boston Bruins, Patrice Bergeron is 7th in league scoring, whereas Marshan and Pasternak are number 17 and 18th respectively. So to have three players in the top 20 is certainly a good feat. It's a great accomplishment. You can certainly be very proud of your team and how well they're doing. But to have three in the top 10 is an even greater accomplishment. So my question to you here today is the Colorado Avalanche trio of McKinnon, Rantanen, and Landeskog taken over as being the top line here in the NHL. They are producing slightly more of their team's offense than the Bruins trio. Their team does have a slightly better record as well. And they are all three in the top 10, whereas the Bruins are all three in the top 20. So I pose the question to you today. Who is the top line in the NHL? Is it the Avalanche Trio or is it the Bruins Trio? So as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Has the Avalanche Trio overtaken the Bruins Trio as being the top line here in the NHL? If you're new to the channel here, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams, and there's plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We will catch you next time.